I am Seymour S. Sassafras and Company. This is the Seymour S. Sassafras, and this is the company. <laughs> I am a peddler by trade, by trade and by golly, by golly, by golly. I deal in magic and moonbeams and pretty, pretty colors. Oh, yes, I can sell you the most perfect pink or the most blissful blue or a simply euphoric yellow. <laughs> that, of course, is why I'm here in April Valley, delivering all these colors to Peter Cottontail so he can paint his Easter eggs, you know. What? You say you've never been to April Valley before? Well, that's okay. I'll show you around. This way, please. Now, you see? April Valley's where all the Easter bunnies live and work. Oh, yes. Ah, April Valley's finest candy carvings. Meet Milk Chocolate Angelo and Leonardo the Bittersweet. <laughs> and over there is the famous Easter Bunny Bonnet Foundry. Now, of course, it's all very nice here, thanks to Peter Cottontail. Hmm? You never heard of Peter Cottontail? Great chattering chick chicks. They've never heard of Peter Cottontail. They've never heard of Peter Cottontail? Why, he's the number one chief Easter bunny around here. See? He, you, you mean you never heard how he almost lost the job? <sighs> oh, my, you actually mean you never heard how a terrible, wicked, nasty rabbit named Iron Tail almost became the Easter Bunny? <laughs> Montresor! Montresor! Away! Away! Here. If you peek into this magic egg, you'll see the whole story just as it happened. Peter was just a young whippersnapper, sort of a junior Easter bunny. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hopping, Easter's on its way. Bringing every girl and boy baskets full of Easter joy, things to make your Easter bright and gay. began one bright and sunny springtime right here in April Valley. The former chief Easter Bunny, Colonel Wellington B. Bunny, oh, he was a fine old gent, was getting on in years, and he figured it was just about time for him to retire. Of course, it was his sworn duty to appoint a worthy successor. No 
it's out of the question. And I well, couldn't wait. Peter Cottontail, just a moment. Now, here's a likely candidate. Uh, I really don't think Cottontail's a man, sir. I mean, he is boastful, he has no sense of responsibility, and sometimes, sometimes he fibs. Oh, well, I know he's not perfect, but he's got real spunk and ingenuity. Reminds me of me when I was his age. But I, I never dreamed I'd get to be cheap Easter money. Peter, you're telling a fib. Every time you tell a fib, your left ear droops. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess I did think about the job once or twice. Uh, lots of times. Peter, good heavens, Peter, my boy, you've got to shape up and reform if you want to be Chief Easter Bunny. There are tulips that need tending and baskets that need mending. The jelly beans are piling up in heat. <laughs> There are eggs that need collecting And hens who are expecting In spring the Easter bunny never sleeps There are bonnets that need sewing And gardens that need hoeing Some chocolate chicks have broken out in peace There are colours that are running And workers who are sunning In spring the Easter bunny never sleeps Bright and early Easter morning All the work must be done Eggs ready to roll in time for the fun. For I said the claws the bunny has but one single day. There are children waiting everywhere. There can be no delay. So get all those tulips tended and every basket mended. It's not a game. We're playing this for keeps. Get those bows and ribbons tied on, for you will be relied on every spring. But meanwhile, far away in the distant reaches of April Valley... I won't allow Cottontail to be the new Chief Easter Bunny. I must be the new ruler of April Valley. You, sir? Yes. Years ago, a small child roller skated over my tail. Since then, I have had to wear this artificial one made of iron instead of having a nice, fluffy, white cotton tail like that beard. But it was an accident, sir. The child didn't mean to. I don't care! Since that time, I have detested all children. But then, why be Easter Bunny? To get even. <laughs> when I'm through with April Valley, we'll never be bothered by children again. <laughs> Here, son. Here is your official egg basket. Caddy, caddy it with pride. I will, sir. I hereby officially declare you Chief Easter Bunny. Just a mean old minute. Hmm. Hmm. Just in time. For what, Iron Tail? Here is the Constitution of April Valley. It says that the Chief Easter Bunny shall be the one who delivers the most eggs. I know that! That's why I've chosen. Well, when it comes to delivering eggs, Peter Cottontail is <laughs> real squeamish carrots to January Q. Iron Tail. I propose a contest to see who can deliver the most eggs. Yes, yeah, absolutely out of the question. Wait a minute, Colonel. I'm not afraid of Iron Tail. I know I can lick him any day. Ah, Peter. This is no time for begging. No, no, I, I insist, Colonel. A contest is the fair way of deciding who's best. Don't worry, it'll be me. <laughs> well, you better head win, Peter, because once I give my word, I shall stick to it. Therefore, I have decided 
that whoever delivers the most eggs tomorrow, Easter, will be the new ruler of April Valley. <laughs> You've got to win, Peter. Absolutely have to win. Iron Tail will do terrible things to April Valley. Make sure, make sure you get up bright and early tomorrow so you can do your best. But Peter was so sure he'd win the next day that instead of getting lots of sleep, he had a big party with all his friends. And it was very late when he finally went to bed. I've got to get up on time tomorrow. Uh, 5.30, Ben. Remember? There are tulips that need tending. There are baskets that need mending. In spring, the Easter bunny never sleeps, sleeps, sleeps. But you can be certain that old Iron Hill wasn't going to play fair. No funny, no funny, no funny business now. No. Oh, oh, no, of course not. <laughs> I have a little gift for you. <laughs> because, uh, well, because I like chicken so much. Ah, bubble, bubble, bubble gum. Corn flavored bubble gum. My favorite. <laughs> April Valley is as good as mine. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it was magic bubble gum, guaranteed to seal the lips of an alarm clock rooster. Those bubbles cock a doodle dooed so far away, Peter never heard them. He slept on and on and on all through Easter day. Now, nobody wanted an egg from an unpleasant old bunny like Iron Tail. As a matter of fact, though he tried all day long, he was only able to give away one single egg. However, since Peter slept through Easter and didn't deliver any eggs at all, Iron Tail won, and he now rules April back. Every tulip that needs tending will get a proper bending, and jelly beans will rot above their heaps. <laughs> All the hens who are expecting will get no more protecting. For in spring the Easter bunny always sleeps. And from this time forward, all Easter eggs shall be colored a shade of mud <laughs> and new concrete. <laughs> Instead of chocolate bunnies and chicks, I commission the candy sculptors to make tarantulas <laughs> and octopuses. And I hereby declare an end to Easter bonnets. From now on, there will only be Easter galoshes. I need lots of peace and quiet, and Easter won't deny it. Every spring, the Easter Bunny always sleeps. <laughs> Peter Cottontail, who realized that his bragging and irresponsibility had let everybody down, left April Valley in disgrace. But, but I'll make it up somehow. I'll make it up if it's the last thing I do. I'll make it up if it's the last thing I do. Oh. And that's just what Peter vowed. Remember? I'll make it up if it's the last thing I do. He walked on and on for days and days, and finally, one night, he could not walk a step further. But the next morning, 
the sun returned like an old friend back from a long vacation. And its very first rays tickled Peter's nose and awakened him. And that's when I came into the story. Uh, beg pardon, Peter. Uh-huh. You're sleeping on my big toe. You really must have been tuckered out to use a big toe as a pillow. <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry, Mr. Sassafras. <laughs> well, that's all right. It's my pleasure, Peter. Well, rather my big toe's pleasure. <laughs> where are we? In my garden. This is the garden of surprises where I grow all the vegetables I use to make the pretty colors. <laughs> it's kind of magical if I do say so my magical self. <laughs> See? See right over there. There's red, white, and blue cabbages as big as houses. And purple corn stalks as tall as church steeples. Striped tomatoes and orange string beans. Why do you call it the garden of surprises? Everybody asks that question. And I answer, why not call it the garden of surprises? I mean, I never know what's coming up. Sometimes I plant beans and roses surprise me. Why, once I planted pumpkins. And do you know what came up? Huh? Uh, no, what? Pumpkins. Now, that was a surprise. Hmm. Well, it's always easier to change colors than to change labels. Well, nobody will ever be able to change my label. It reads failure. Oh, don't be so depressed, Peter. When you are depressed, it gets to be very de depressing. <laughs> but Easter's all over, and I lost. Easter over? Ah, nothing's ever really all over, Peter. Follow me. There it is, my Yestermorrowbeer. Why do you call it Yestermorrowbeer? <laughs> because that's what I call it. <laughs> you see, it can transport you into yesterday or tomorrow. Whereas most crafts go from here to there, mine travels from now to then, and from then to when. <laughs> Meet the pilot. Antoine? Antoine? Hello, hello, hello. A worm? Pardon, monsieur. I hold the rank of caterpillar. We've got our first passenger, Antoine. His name is Peter Cottontail. Now show him how it all works. Oui, of course, I will do that with pleasure. You will notice, Pierre, the many switches and buttons and knobs. Eh? <laughs> They're beautiful, eh? eh? They are labeled le futur and le past. Eh? And here, of course, we have more controls to transport one to the holidays. Eh? A button for Christmas, a lever for Halloween. So, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, Arbor Day, and this pretty one for Easter. Hey, I get it. All I have to do is hop into the basket and have you take me back to Easter. That's correct. Then you can deliver your eggs as you should have done in the first place. Win the contest and toss old Iron Tail out. Let's go. To Easter, Antoine. Of course, we certainly Pierre. Good luck, Peter. Thanks for everything, Mr. Sassafras. But I didn't give you everything. Huh? If I could only get back to yesterday, today would be if I could only get back to yesterday Oh, the different things I knew and say I'd be a different man If I had a second chance with you Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? I'd make a special plan If I had Second chance with you, with you, with you, with you, with you, if I could only get back to yesterday, to yesterday, today would be a perfect day, if I could only get back to yesterday, to yesterday, oh, the different Yeah.
Silly time machine. Well, <laughs> I'll put a creepy crimp in their pathetic plans. <laughs> now you understand my plans. <laughs> now catch up with them and by all means play dirty. <laughs> Are we almost to Easter End One? As soon, Pierre, soon. We are traveling 100 hours an hour. There is something is she's very wrong with the controls. They indicate a proximity to Easter, yet by my calculation. Mon Dieu! Mon Dieu, we are coming down! Prepare for the crash landing! And because the control wires were all found out, Easter was lost, and they crashed right down in the middle of Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Easter. Easter? I it's Mother's Day. You forgot us on Easter. I'll say you did. Oh, I don't mind for myself, but there were no eggs for the children. And no Easter bonnet for Mom. Well, I'll make it all up now. Here, my pleasure. Ah, who wants Easter eggs on Mother's Day? And wherever Peter went on Mother's Day, the reaction was exactly the same. Antoine did his best to repair the damaged time control. It works! <laughs> and uh, I, of course, sense a holiday. No? A holiday, yes, but the 4th of July! We are burning! This, this is an outrageous situation! We are falling! This is an outrageous situation! Eh? That's what little Antoine cried out as they tumbled through the sky. Here, see for yourself. We are falling! This is an outrageous situation! We made it. That, mon ami, is obvious. Thanks, of course, to my superb piloting. A superb? We're a long way from Easter. Ah, well, tell me, Pierre. In the rules of April Valley, does it say the eggs must be given at Easter? No, but, but who wants Easter eggs on the 4th of July? And they didn't even want them on Mother's Day. Easter eggs? No. But uh, 4th of July eggs? <laughs> what I am saying, mon ami, is that one sometimes must improvise. People believe what they are, still their eyes. So when you can't get it all together, improvise. When you can't get it all together, improvise. You can't tell a rose, isn't a rose. If you keep it away from your nose, it might be made out of paper mache, but it's a rose if you want a rose to be that way. <laughs> People believe what their hearts tell their eyes. So when you can't get it all together, improvise. 
when you can't get it all together and provide. So give Easter eggs on the 4th of July. Put bananas in your apple pie on Halloween. Give your girl a valentine with a giving out that a take her in any day is fine. Oh, ha, ha, people, people believe what their hearts sell their eyes. So when you can get it all together, improvise. When you can get it all together. When you can get it all together. When you can get it all together, improvise. Lucky Mr. Sassafras packed a box full of his paints aboard. Well, look again, that is not only packed. Come see. Here's a box full of, uh, uh, how you say, the costumes, eh? Rabbit size. This is perfect. Oh, it's not that I knew what was going to happen. Not really. <laughs> well, anyway, Peter went out with his 4th of July eggs. Gee, I wonder if anybody will really want my eggs. Well, that's all, fellas. Ah, oh, it was just getting good. I'll do anything for more fireworks. Boy, I could really get rid of these if they were firecrackers. Hmm. Well, let's go home. Well, well, well. Hello, fellows. It's a rabbit. I'm Uncle Sam Sam, your Independence Day bunny. We're looking for firecrackers. You got firecrackers, rabbit? The uh, firecrackers. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. These are red, white, and blue. Uh, egg-shaped torpedoes. You know, you toss them on the ground and kabloom. Oh, boy, torpedoes. Well, we'll take all you got. Yeah, give me, let me at him. Come on, let's take him to where the ground is hard. When you can't get it all together, when you can't get it all together, when you can't get it all together, and provide. Quick, let's get out of here. Just a minute, uh, I have not yet make finish with the repairs. Antoine, we've got to get moving. Hey, rabbit! Uh, These are not firecrackers. Well, fellas, it was uh, just a little joke. <laughs> we don't like jokes. Let him have it, Homer. Uh, wait a minute. Whoops, watch out. You'll break them. Come on, Antoine, let's go. Oh, I got them all back again. Serves you right for saying that they were fireworks. But, gee, I... I was only trying to win so I could save April Valley. Pierre, nothing, absolutely nothing, justifies a fib. What's the matter? We are coming down again. Gee, it's so foggy and dank and spooky out. What a terrible Easter. Easter? Even we are halfway around the year from Easter. This is... Hey, wait a minute. I'll paint my eggs orange and black and be, uh, be the Halloween bunny. Blast that wretched rabbit. Mm. Oh, what am I worrying about? <laughs> if I can't defeat Peter Cottontail on Halloween, <laughs> then when can I? <laughs> I mean, it's uh, my kind of day. Go ahead, it's your nickel. <laughs> Iron Tail. Not the Iron Tail. January Boo Boo Iron Tail. Ah, Madame Esmeralda. And how is my favorite witch today? Well, Halloween's my busy season, don't you know? After Halloween, I pooped as a petrified poltergeist. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I wonder if you could find time to do me a little favor. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there's a certain rabbit I want to frighten away. Hold a rabbit. Great, you know me. <laughs> I just love to tease hairs. 
Well, I... Uh... I improvise and I improvise and still I cannot get it all together. <laughs> Come on, what's the joke? Let me in on it. What's so funny? There's no joke. I'm a wicked Halloween witch. I do simply horrendous things. I can turn blue and purple, and green, blue! I'm as spooky as Frankenstein. Hey, that's great. Uh, can you do Colonel Bunny? I can. <clears throat> Peter, my boy, I have some advice oh, for you. Oh, you're not supposed to enjoy my evil powers. Oh, I failed. Here I am, only 379. I has been. <laughs> uh, uh, don't, don't, don't cry. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you unhappy. Uh, say there's no rule says a witch can't have a Halloween egg. Here, you may have my first. For me? A present? Oh, I must tell the whole weirdo community. All the ghosts, witches, werewolves, everybody. They'll be so happy to receive Halloween eggs. Nobody ever thinks to treat the tricksters. <laughs> well, old Esmeralda rounded up the entire clan, and they all wanted one of Peter's eggs. Great mealy-mouthed meatballs. Ah, the skies are laden with a crazy race. I cannot let this happen. Peter will win. There's only one way to take care of those eggs. Destroy them for good. Montresa, get them and destroy them. Boy, look at all those ghosts. Yowie, I'll have to go back to April Valley for more eggs. No. Smash them, Montresa. Smash them all! <laughs> Those eggs are done for! <laughs> Those eggs are done for! <laughs> yep. Old Iron Tail got real desperate and sent Montresor to smash Peter's eggs. Those eggs are done for! <laughs> Take off, Antoine! We've got to catch those eggs before they hit the ground! Great twisted tarantulas! Hold those eggs, Montresa! Hold them! So, how do we do, eh? We've got to get back to Halloween so I can give these eggs to the ghost. That, I am afraid, mon ami Pierre, is impossible. No, they couldn't go back. But Antoine had to land his craft so he could continue his repairs. And where do you think they came down? Thanksgiving. Oh, just smell all those goodies cooking down there. How do I look? What are you supposed to be? Huh? An Easter turkey or a Thanksgiving bunny? Uh, who cares? As long as I can give away these eggs. Eggs? Don't mention food to me. I'm stuffed to the gills after this Thanksgiving feast. We're all stuffed! Everybody everywhere was so stuffed that Peter couldn't give away a single egg. Boy, it, it's cold. Thank you for this information. I do not realize this fact otherwise, eh? It's... Antoine, look up there. Santa Claus. That's why it's so cold. 
Uh, it must be Noel. Christmas Eve. These stupid controls are still all wet. Hi, Santa, hi! Hello, Peter! Watch out for Iron Tail, Santa! Oh, I'm not afraid. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Peter! Merry Christmas! Same to you, Santa! Hey! I know how to give these eggs away. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'm the Santa Bunny. Get your free Christmas eggs here. Eat them or use them to decorate your tree. <laughs> Merry Christmas. How goes the egg business? Not so good. The street's deserted. Of course. Everyone has finished with their Christmas shopping. And are now snug and warm at home? Uh, you are too late again, mon ami. I guess so. It seemed like such a good idea. Well, at least I do am snug and warm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Gee, who's crying? It sounds like it's coming from that hat shop. Gee, it's Bonnie. Bonnie Bonnet. She left April Valley years ago. Hi, Bonnie. Why are you crying? Oh, Peter, I'm so glad to see you, baby. Nobody wants me. What a way for a lady to end up. Unbought on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, sorry I'm closing up. Uh, but but you, you can't leave Bonnie all alone on Christmas Eve. That ridiculous hat? Who wants an Easter bonnet this time of year? I'll take her. I'm sure I can find a home for Bonnie. You, a silly little rabbit. Whatever would you use for money? Oh, I have lots of money. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, wait a minute. I'll trade you my Christmas eggs for Bonnie. Christmas eggs? Yeah, see? In that basket out there on the sidewalk. Why, they're beautiful. Deal? Deal. Deal! Deal! Deal? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I forgot I was wearing this Santa suit. Ah! What is it? Somebody's stealing the Christmas eggs. It's another rabbit. Careless, careless. <laughs> Mustn't let these things lie about. <laughs> yes, Peter Cottontail. This time I'm personally taking care of these eggs. Away! Away, Montressa! Away! Come back! Come back with those eggs! I do insist you return those eggs. I shall hide these eggs where you will never find them again. <laughs> I shall hide these eggs where you'll never find them again. <laughs> That's exactly what Iron Tail said, and he meant it. Here, see for yourself. I shall hide these eggs where you'll never find them again. <laughs> We've got to catch him. Pierre! Pierre! P Pierre! Why do you go off without uh, your friend? Hang on, Bonnie. Not so Can't go slow, Bonnie. I've got to catch Iron Tail. The whole future of April Valley depends on it. Pierre! Pierre! Come back for me! Antoine! Antoine, we forgot all about it! We must go back! But, but I can't! I, I can't! I don't know how to make it go backwards! Au revoir, mon ami! Au revoir! You ridiculous rabbit! You'll never catch me! <laughs> what are you doing with those eggs? Well, you know they belong to Peter Cottontail. Oh, why don't you stick to your own holiday? Hmm.
Well, Santa got the egg basket back to Peter. And poor Peter, he couldn't even stop the Eskimo bill, not even to say thank you. I sure do miss Antoine. Peter thought he'd try being the New Year's Eve bunny, but he couldn't bring the Eskimo bill to a stop. It's no use. I'll never figure out how to run this thing. I guess we're lost. Lost up here in time. You never tried this one, Peter. It says stop. Huh? As a matter of fact, I was just about to try that button up. Oh, how beautiful. What is it? All those heart lanterns. It must be a St. Valentine's Day skating party. Sure, that's it. Bonnie, do you know what I'm going to do? Don't tell me. Let me guess. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can resist a Valentine's Day egg. Excuse me. Uh huh? Oh. <laughs> uh, hi. I hate to bother you, but could you help me put my skates on? <laughs> oh, no bother at all. My name's Donna. Oh, hi, Donna. Oh, I recognize you from your picture in the paper. You're Peter Cottontail. Oh, no, my name's Harold. Uh, Harold Hassenpfeffer. Oh. oh. I guess I'm Peter Cottontail. Well, you shouldn't be ashamed. Anybody can make one mistake. You just overslept. Gee, that, that, that's a kind thing to say. I mean it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Donna, would you skate with me? I'd love to. But aren't you going somewhere with those eggs? Oh, they can wait. Uh, here for you. Oh, Peter, a valentine. I'll leave it here with the others where it'll be safe. I've got a paper heart that's got your name up on it. I've written a sonnet and set it to music. My heart's the drummer. Come and listen to it playing. It seems to be saying, be mine today. Be mine today. Just a 24-hour day be mine. Oh, let me hear you say that you'll be mine. Can't wait another day. My Valentine. Valentine, be, be mine, mine today. today. Two days today for good old-fashioned turtle dovin', for songs about lovin', for hearing the music. So I'll be yours for just two Let me hear you say that you'll be mine Just wait another day My Valentine I knew I'd find Peter and his eggs if I just kept waiting for all the holidays. Now, let me see. Where's my book of evil spells? Here it is. Oh, that's a good one. The evil no, old bunny dare. found a spell which would ruin the eggs for good and make them so that no one would ever want them. He turned them all green. Oh, and were they ever green? A real greeny green. All the way through, the shells were green, the yolks were green, even the whites were green. Naturally, nobody at the Valentine party wanted green eggs. Even Donna gave hers back. So poor Peter and little Bonnie were forced to move on to the next holiday. George Washington always had green eggs. Why, they were traditional at Mount Vernon uh, when he chopped down the uh, uh, lime tree. Uh, remember? Washington couldn't tell a fib. I can't say the same for Georgie Bunnies. Oh, Peter, you've just about run out of holidays. And it's all my fault. If I didn't go to that party in the first place, I wouldn't have overslept. And if I didn't tell so many fibs, lots of people would have taken my eggs. 
but now it, it's hopeless. Who, who wants green eggs? Oh, Peter, Peter, the most important thing is that you just don't give up hope. In the puzzle of life, there is one piece that keeps it together. It's the hard one to place And the best one to chase The stormy weather In the puzzle of life There is one piece that keeps it from breaking You can tell when it's there From the sound that you're on Heartbeat is making If you find that it's lost Well, the puzzle cannot be completed For that piece is called hope And without it, our cause is defeated When you're lost in the maze of the tricks that life plays be reminded in the puzzle of life hope is there listen close and you will find it Music. Gee, Mr. Sassafras is right. I vow that if only I can find a way to give my eggs, I'll never, never, never tell another thing. And I'll always tend to my duty before pleasure. I promise. I promise. It's some kind of a parade. Must be another holiday. But who, who would want green eggs? Huh? But holiday? Oh, must be safe. Pa 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 What's the matter? Is your talker stuck? Oh, Bonnie, Bonnie, me prayers have been answered. Glory be in Megora, tis St. Patrick's Day. Sure and tis me himself, the Blarney Bunny. Get your Paddy's Day shamrock eggs right here. Free for the asking they are, and as green as the Emerald Isle all the way through. And that, for once, is no fib. Well, Peter Shamrock Eggs were the hit of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And needless to say, Peter won the contest finally, hands down. Peter Cottontail, you have shown great ingenuity. Oh, that's what Colonel Bunny said. Here, see for yourself. Peter Cottontail, you have shown great ingenuity. And therefore, <laughs> you have won the right to be official chief Easter Bunny. Hooray! And on Easter morning, Peter was off again. Only now, he was the Easter Bunny. All of his friends turned out to greet him, because everybody knew that Peter Cottontail was on his way. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Hopping down the bunny trail, a hippity hopping Easter's on its way. Bringing every girl and boy, baskets full of Easter joy, things to make your Easter bright and gay. He's got jelly beans for Tommy, colored eggs for Sister Sue. There's an orchid for your mommy, oh, and I an Easter bunny too. Oh, here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hoppity happy Easter day. Pierre! Listen, Pierre! Antoine! Antoine, where are you? Up here! Look what has happened! How do you like my new Easter outfit, eh? <laughs> well, I went to sleep for a few months, and when I wake up, voila, I was butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can help. You can all help, everybody. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping 
down the bunny trail Look at him stop, listen to him say Try to do the things you should Maybe if you're extra good He'll roll lots of Easter eggs your way You wake up on Easter morning And you'll know that he was there When you find those chocolate bunnies That he's hiding everywhere Oh, here comes Peter Cottontail Hopping down the bunny trail Dippity-hoppity-hop 